dear friends welcome back to my channel dr crochet today i'm going to show you how to make this cute little booty piece for infants and toddlers it's up to you you can make it with different colors and different sizes i have made this booty for boys and this one for girls so you can make your own choice First of all, we need a crochet hook. I'm using 4.5 mm crochet hook and a double plywood yarn. So let's start. Make a knot. in the first stitch now one two and three join with slip stitch to the top of first stitch as we always do working in round and oval now we have a oval shape now chain two that count as one half double crochet and make one half double crochet in each of the stitch double crochet, half double crochets in the same stitch now i'm going to make in the second stitch of this five now half double crochets two half double crochets in the fifth so second stitch and one half double crochet in the third one and again two half double crochets in the fourth stitch that we have made in the same stitch to increase the shape of oval and again make one half double crochet in each of the stitch till the next end in the same stitch now I'm going to make two half double crochets in the second stitch one and two and one half double crochet in the second third stitch and again two half double crochets in the fourth stitch join with slip stitch to the top of first stitch you can see here we have oval shape increasing to increase we are going to increase the number of stitches at the edge here we have increased two number two double crochets two half double crochets and here we have also increased two half double crochets now again in 
we have double crochet in each of the stitch again it's time for increment now here we have made two half double crochets in same stitch in the second stitch now I'm going to skipping first stitch and making two half double crochets in the next half double crochet stitch and again one half double crochets in the second. next stitch and again two half double crochets in the next stitch again one half double crochet in each of the stitch remaining now again in these last three stitches i'm going to make two double crochets in this stitch one in this stitch and two again in the last stitch now two half double crochets in this stitch one in the middle stitch and two in the left side of this middle stitch join the slip stitch to the top of first stitch you can see it is increasing and the shape is like orange now here we have completed the base of One half double crochet from the back loop of the stitch. Double crochet in each of the chain from the back of the loop. Now at the end, I'm going to join the slip stitch to the top of first stitch. Here you can see. the difference of making one half double crochet from the back of loop differentiate the bottom of the shoe like this now i'm going to make one half double crochet in each of the stitch for next two rows Now here I have completed two rows of half double crochet in each of the stitch. Now I am going to make two chains in one half double crochet for next 10 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. Here in the center of the top, I have put a mark. Now I'm going to make three half double crochets together. As you can see, I have made three half double crochets. And now it's done. Make one half double crochet in the next stitch and make three half double crochets again in the next three stitches three half double crochets together in next three stitches now make one half double crochet in the next stitch Double crochets together in next three stitches again. Make one half double crochet in next stitch and three half double crochets together in next three stitches again. And 
then in the one half double crochet in remaining 10 stitches now join with slip stitch to the top of stitch chain 2 then count as one half double crochet and make one half double crochet in each of the next double crochet for 10 stitches again make three half double crochets together one two three and one half double crochet in the next stitch again make three half double crochets together and one Stitch. Now make one half double crochet in each of the remaining stitch. Join with slip stitch at the end of the row. Again chain two that count as one half double crochet and make one half double crochet in next ten stitches and again make Three half double crochets together to decrease the number of stitches to shape the shoe. Make three half double crochets in next three stitches together. And now make one half double crochet in remaining stitches. Join with stitch at the top of first stitch. Now you can see the shape of shoe. This increasing one by one. Now make one half double crochet, chain two, and one half double crochet in each of the stitch remaining one with slip stitch at the end now you can see it looks like this now chain three and make one double crochet from the back of the loop and one double crochet from front post one double crochet from back post and one double crochet from front post and first and one double crochet from first now chain one and make one single crochet in each of the stitch It's done. As you can see how nice it looks. Now to make it more beautiful and cute, I'm going to attach a mini bow here. You can see it looks beautiful with bow. I have made one, another one how cute it looks so i hope you like my video i have made this for boys and this one for girls it's up to you you can use any colors of your own choice so stay tuned goodbye have a nice day I